What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to replace the cabin air filter in a 2018 Lincoln Navigator. Like I said, it's an 18 Navigator in this video, but it will be the same on several different years. And I'll put a link in the description box of this video to where you can purchase these cabin air filters if you're in need. So our cabin filter is going to be located behind the glove box. In order to get to it, we need to open the glove box. Now, if we take a look on the right hand side, we see this dampening cord right here. What you want to do is grab a hold of that and just hold it with you. Can I know it's kind of tough to get your fingers on there, but grab a hold of it and hold on. And then what I like to do is take a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver and come from this side. And you can see the other part of that is right here. And if you go below where you see this notch, there's another little tab right here that you need to push on. And as I'm doing that, as I'm pushing down, I'm kind of, as I'm pushing that tab, I'm pulling down with my right hand like that. So if we take a little look, if we take a closer look at this, this sits in there like this, and I was just pushing on this tab and then pulling down with this hand. And then once you get that off, you can just let it go and it'll retract up into there. Now there's two tabs that are holding the glove box up. The first one is up here. And what you need to do is just push that tab up so that this piece clears it. So I'm pushing up on this piece and it's clearing it. And then on the left-hand side, we see this tab right here. This one we're gonna push in on. So push in on that part, and that's gonna allow that to come down. Once the glove box comes down, we're gonna remove this side panel right here, this trim piece. You may need to get a trim tool, but what I found is if you start at the bottom here and get your fingers on it and just pull up and work your way up, it'll unpop. You don't need to take it all the way off. It's fine if it comes all the way off, but you only need to un undo it that far just so that these clips are undone right along here. Now, once we undo that, there's six seven millimeter bolts that we need to remove. One, two, three, and the other three are gonna be on top. One, two, and three. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those six bolts, and then I'll check back in in the next shot. Okay, so I just finished taking out those six seven millimeter bolts that we looked at in the previous shot, three on the bottom, three on the top, the other piece of trim that we need to pull back is this panel right here. And you can get your fingers on the bottom and kind of just pull. It doesn't need to come all the way off, but we need to start it at least that far. So once we have that panel loosened up as well, this glove box is ready to come out. This whole kind of assembly here is gonna pull out. So what you wanna do is just grab a hold of it and start pulling towards you and kind of work your way around. And don't pull too hard because there's this electric piece that we're gonna have to disconnect. So once you get it this far, we can see this piece right here that we need to unplug. That just has this little tab that you push down and then we can unplug that. And then we can go ahead and pull this off the rest of the way. Once we get the glove box off there, we can take a closer look in here. And we see this honeycomb shaped item right here. This is the access door to the cabin filter. And there's these two clips on the side, on either side, that you kind of just need to hook your finger around and pull towards you. Once we get the access door off, we see our actual cabin filter right here. And I actually don't have this filter right now. I'm gonna have to come back to it. But when you put your new one in, just make sure you're paying attention to this airflow. You want your airflow going down, airflow arrow going down towards the floor of the vehicle. And once you have your new filter installed in there with your airflow going down, you reverse everything we just did to close it up. Throw that access door back on, slide your glove box back in, and it just needs to tuck in behind this piece of trim. Get your glove box back in, don't forget to Hook up your connector, snap the two pieces of trim back down, throw your six bolts in, and don't forget to hook up that dampening cord 
which is actually on the glove box itself, and then hook this cord back up that we took off in the beginning of the video. And that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.